It is the new ultimate high in Las Vegas. And it may be the best loss you ever take. Dave Malkoff takes you to zero gravity over the Vegas Strip. In this town, anything's possible if you've got the cash. Yet the Las Vegas airport is about the last place you'd expect to look for a high roller attraction. We'll try this one, see how that feels. It all begins with the flight suit. See if I can't give you some assistance. And on this flight, Buzz Aldrin is with us today. We've got an expert at these kinds of things. We're about to come as close as you can get to space travel without breaking orbit. Zero G is the company. I wanted to be an astronaut since I was nine years old. Peter Demandis is the CEO bringing this adventure to Las Vegas. This is his plane. And this. And do what with the airplane? No! This is what he does with his 727. Over the top, you're weightless. At about 32,000 feet is the maximum height. And then back down, you have about 1.8 gravities. Nose diving the plane, then pulling up at high speed, does this. Put it down, camera! Camera! Effectively turns off Earth's gravity for everyone inside the plane for about 30 seconds. They were doing hundreds of flights with the KC-135. Got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the Olympic. Buzz Aldrin first flew on these same kind of weightless flights when he was training for his Gemini and Apollo missions. Back then, they called the plane the Vomit Comet. This is a motion sickness pill. Just take one. Good thing that part's been fixed. These days, it's a private company taking not just astronauts, but anyone with $3,500 for a walk in microgravity. Once we're into clear airspace, the pilot takes his first dive. And inside, zero gravity. Woo! Zero gravity. I don't know which way is up, and neither do the skittles. <laughs> when you're up here, you're going to want to experiment a little. One person is going to be the releaser, and one guy is going to be the popper, okay? Water balloon fights are a little different in space. Tell me what we're doing with these water balloons. <laughs> we're going to have water all over the damn place. <laughs> in bubbles. And they're a little different up here as well. When they yell feet down like that, you better lie down fast as you pull almost two G's coming out. You feel your weight increasing as you go up the hill. I'm getting to be about two times what I would normally weigh on Earth. There's a serious side to all this floating madness as well. We need the civilian support for the exploration. I'm gonna step off the limb now. Flights like this one bring space travel down to Earth for anyone who wants it that way. Right here in the city where anything's possible. Anybody who's been in some orbital space That's one small step for man. is very enthusiastic and we want them to carry on that enthusiastic message. Giant leap for mankind. And before you ask, no, I did not throw up, but this isn't the first time I've done this. I did it back in 2004 in Fort Lauderdale. That story, photos, and information on how you can get on the flight, plus the cost on our website, cbs2.com Dave. Dave, thank you very much. 30 years ago. This